Hello everyone. Welcome back. We have updates on the official Starship Flight 3 timeline and Artemis mission developments. During a media briefing on Artemis missions yesterday, SpaceX's Jessica Jensen announced that Starship Flight 3 is targeted for launch in February with an updated FA license. She mentioned that the hardware for the third Starship flight is expected to be ready this month. So yeah, we are working towards um, Starship flight test number three right now. We have static fired the booster already. We have static fired the ship. Um, this will not be the mission that does the on-orbit ship-to-ship propellant transfer. So this is just the next series and our iterations of um, increasing performance and getting to orbit. But there will be, we are working towards a tipping point demonstration. So that might be what you're talking about where um, the goal is to transfer um, propellant from the header tank into the main tank. So it's sort of a smaller subset of learning about cryogenic propellant transfer in orbit. Um, from a hardware readiness perspective, we are um, targeting to be ready in January. And then from an FAA licensing perspective, we're getting a license for flight three. Part of that is closing out the corrective actions from flight two. Um, we're on track for that. We're working closely. So we're expecting that license to come in February. So it is looking like flight three will occur in February of this year. Both the booster and the ship seem to be ready and anticipated to be rolled out to the launch site once the upgrade works on the orbital tank farm are completed. During the briefing, NASA also announced delays in Artemis missions. The Artemis II mission, which was initially planned for a crewed launch this year, has been postponed until September 2025 due to safety concerns. NASA cited a heat shield issue on the Orion spacecraft and a design flaw in valve electronics in the Orion life support system as reasons for the delay. Astrobotic has been consistently providing updates on the Peregrine Lunar Lander. The company mentioned that the spacecraft is expected to run out of propellants in approximately 33 hours from now, and landing on the moon is no longer feasible. The focus of the mission has shifted towards gathering as much data as possible while the spacecraft remains operational. This morning, Blue Origin rolled out the first hardware of its new Glenn rocket to launch Complex 36. Although it appears to be a test article, it's intriguing to observe Blue Origin's plans for proceeding with testing from this point onward. That wraps up this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.